Hi, I'm Dr. Tim, founder of Dr. Tim's Aquatics. What I'm going to talk to you today about is how to convert your aquarium from the typical canopy and fluorescent lighting to the new Aqua Ray Mount Array lighting system that allows you to easily and quickly mount your new Aqua Ray LEDs above your aquarium and it'll look very modern and professional and you'll be able to get rid of these old style canopies. Okay, what we've done is we've removed the canopy and the glass top right now. And you notice, if you have an older style aquarium with the thick edgeless, uh, edge around it, you're going to have to remove those to fit these Aqua Ray Mount Array systems. I've loosened it up, made it easily removable. And what you're going to see is that there are three legs here on these Mount Arrays. The center leg goes on the outside of the glass. The two outer legs go on the inner. Just slips on just like that. Right now, we're going to mount them so that you can measure how long the rails are. Don't worry about placing them about forward or backwards in the tank. We just want to get an idea so we can get a measurement on the rails. So, put each of the mount arrays on the tank. Right? Now you need to measure the distance. What I'm going to do, I'm measuring from the opening here, just the opening. You need to add four and a quarter inches to whatever that measurement is because the, ra the rails are actually going to go inside here. But I'm just giving you a hint. Measure this distance from here to here, right? And then add four and a quarter inches to what you're going to cut your rails. Speaking of rails, the Aquare rail systems come in a variety of sizes. No one size is going to fit perfect into your aquarium. They recommend you have two rails in, in your mount array system. So you can buy two rails that are close to the size that you measured, or you might be able to save a little money by buying one rail that's much longer and cutting it in two pieces that'll fit between your mount arrays. The tools you'll need are a Phillips head screwdriver and a hacksaw if you're going to have to cut the material. Measure out and then carefully mark. Don't be intimidated by having to cut this. If you have a decent hacksaw with a sharp blade, they're very easy to cut and you will get a smooth cut. Just take your time. Okay? Now, I've already cut these for our aquarium that we need, just to speed things along. You want to mount, have it so that the rail goes right against there and you'll take simply the little black screws that come out, put it in the hole and they mount and screw right into the top of the rail. As I said earlier, they recommend for stability reasons using two rails per system. So mount the rail in one side Mount the other rail, and they just, these nuts just screw right into the top of the rail. Now turn it over, and at this point, when you've got one end on, you're going to slide the light onto the rails. They slide right into here, and remember, the light needs to be facing you. So this is an example of a tile. It goes. into the rail. Don't worry about where you're positioning it right now. We're just getting it onto the rail. Okay? If you have a strip, the same thing. Okay? You would just slide the strip right onto the rail. 
see, you can flip these over. They're not going to come off. The whole thing is made to mount together. Now, for this example, we're just going to use the tile, but you see how easy the strip just slides right in. So now you've got your tile. What you want to do is then turn it over and mount the other mount array. Don't recommend that you do this over your aquarium because if you do drop the light or something slips and the light falls into the aquarium, that voids your warranty. These are very lightweight, so it doesn't take a lot of strength or effort. Set one. Get the other one in there. See, they, there you can let them go. Uh, now, as I said before, the manufacturer does not recommend using a single rail in the center for stability reasons. All right. Now that you've got the system mounted, you want to hide the cord. So, again, this is going to slide where you want. Turn this over, and the cord routes right through the center here. And you have these two pieces. This smooth piece that's 100% closed, not the open end, goes down, fits right into there. That you can hear the kind of snap, it locks in. And then these Phillips head screwdrivers are provided in the kit so that you can thread this cover in so the cord will not drop into the tank. Again, be careful if you're using the cordless screwdriver because you don't want to over tighten these and strip this out. These are plastic. Uh, and you can easily, with a power unit, strip these out. Last one. And it doesn't matter whether the cord's on the right or left. What's easiest for you works fine. Now you've got two covers so that each side is uniform. And if you wanted to, and if you had two units, you could have one LED cord you know, going off one side. You had another LED in here. It could go through the other side. All right, now that you've got the mount array assembled, put it onto the aquarium. It's quite easy, as I said. The middle leg goes on the outside. The two end legs go on the inside of the aquarium. Just like that. And you can move this wherever you want, in the front, in the back, in the center. You can move, slide the LEDs wherever you want. In this case, we have one LED. We're going to put it right in the center. Once you get it positioned where you want, there's a little black screw that goes into this clamp that's provided. You may need a screwdriver to help you hold the nut in there and catch the bolt. So the nut goes on the inside. The bolt comes through and just gently turns until you can feel it catch. And then tighten it up. And what you're doing is squeezing the two legs on the inside and the one leg on the outside so that they're on the glass nice and tight. Once you have it assembled, you can adjust the light. It still slides anywhere you want. You do that to the other side, and you're all set. Now, you can. we highly recommend you use an AquaRay controller. There's so many more options when you do that. Plug the unit in and test it. And there we go. Your Aquaray is mounted easily, quickly, securely over your aquarium. It gives it a whole new look compared to that canopy. Okay. If you have any questions, we're always here at Dr. Tim's Aquatics. You can catch us at info at drtimsaquatics.com 
or visit our website at www.drtimsaquatics.com. Thank you.